Today I'm going to Taizhou. To get there, I rode the bullet train. But before getting on the train, I had to get my daily boba. Cocoa in Taiwan tastes so different from America. It's way better. Boba acquired! Now let's make our way to the bullet train. Oh. Woo! High speed rail bento. Never had it before. I usually get the Taiwan Railway bento. Let's try it! I love how in Taiwan they have bentos you can order and pick up before you get on the train. So excited! I absolutely love the line packaging on the bento! It's so cute! Now on my way to the train! I actually got there super early because I wasn't too familiar and I was originally scared I would miss it. But after going, I realized everything is super convenient and if you need help, there will always be someone to help you. Getting ready to get on! Look at how clean and nice everything is! <laughs> Aboard the train! The Taiwan High Speed Rail was amazing! A train ride that would have taken 2 hours and 30 minutes shrunk to 1 hour with the High Speed Rail. Furthermore, the High Speed Rail is also super comfortable. Very, very impressed. Also, the High Speed Rail Bento is super good! I love how I get to enjoy food and boba on this ride! Always a good time to have boba along for your adventures! And after a one hour ride, made it to Taizhou? So, so excited! The last time I came to Taizhou was when I was in high school. I came here with an orchestra group to perform in Taiwan, and outside of performing, we went to explore some parts of Taiwan. In Taizhou, I got to visit the National Museum of Natural Science. Very cool museum. I recommend it for everyone. Taizhou also has a lot of other cool places I haven't gotten the chance to go to and was hoping to go to this time. One of them being Gaomei Wetlands. I was so excited to come to Gaomei Wetlands. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in Taizhou, Taiwan, known for its beautiful scenery and biodiversity. It's a very famous place for sunset and bird watching. Even though it was very windy when I went, I still loved the vibes of the place. It was very natural. I love the air! Very, very refreshing. Despite it being cold, my goal was still to walk all the way to the end of the 800 meter winding open boardwalk. Not only did I love being there and spinning with the wind, I also learned some cool fun facts of Gaomei Wetlands. The Gaomei Wetlands help mitigate floods. The wetlands absorb excess water like a sponge, so when there's a flood, the water is stored and slowly discharged and the amount of groundwater is increased, which keeps the river flowing. Gaomei Wetlands is not just beautiful, but also ecologically important. This place is also known for its row of wind turbines. The purpose was to harness power from the wind. At least all this powerful wind is being converted to energy! As we're almost at the boardwalk, I will stop narrating so we can appreciate the walking and the powerful wind! So powerful! Almost there! We must persist! We must persist! We made it! Made it! Now let's walk back! Craving soup for dinner! Made it back! Walking back felt a lot faster. I love all this art! Thank you Gaomei Wetlands for an amazing time. 
Hope to come back again in the future. Now I have Feng Jia Ye Si for dinner. I am always so excited for Taiwan night markets. I also heard Feng Jia Ye Si is one of the best night markets in Taiwan and one of the largest night markets with around 15,000 shops, food stalls, and restaurants. Found a gas station themed milk tea stall. There are an infinite amount of options which makes it so hard to decide what to eat, but I know I definitely want sticky tofu. This place intrigued me because it was black tea stinky tofu. I've never seen black tea stinky tofu before. This stinky tofu is soaked in black tea so it has a mixture of a tea smell and stinky tofu smell. Very interesting. Now the most important question, how was it? It was so good! I'm probably biased because I'm already a massive stinky tofu fan, but this stinky tofu did taste different from the usual stinky tofu I eat. Huge reason is probably because of the fact that it's soaked in black tea. But it was so crispy, so good! I highly recommend this place and the owner was super nice too! Next destination, drinks! I was really craving mun bean milk, and this place looked super good! I am so in love with Taiwan milk! Taiwan milk makes every drink that has milk in it taste infinitely better. This place was incredibly good, one of the best mun bean milk I've ever had, and the people there were super nice too. Highly recommend! Now off to more food adventures! Both places across the street look so good! First came to get thumping! Got a number! The line was pretty long. Everything is made fresh in front of you! It smelled so good! This was one of the best thumping I've ever had. The pancake part was so crispy, the egg was so fresh, and I saw this place was known for its secret sauce, which was also super good. The people here were super nice as well, the food was amazing, I highly recommend this place. I know I'm recommending every place, but Taiwan is just too good when it comes to food. Next stop, Takoyaki! I love Takoyaki, especially in Taiwan night markets. I love watching the food making process. It all smells so good. Adding the finishing touches. This place was so good. Also recommending it. Taiwan night market food is just too good! Look at the inside! Since it was the holidays time, I also got a super cute headband! And finishing up the day with some fruit. Taiwan is truly the kingdom of fruit! What a wonderful day in Taizong! Thank you all so much for watching. The Mandarin version of this video has also been released, English subtitles included. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to also subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos I make. I'm a Taiwanese American who makes videos about my life and things I learned along the way. Until next time, bye!